He's not catching ball with you? Yeah. Do you need someone to play ball? A bizarre object rotates slowly, seeming to shine bright red and green lights as it turns. He's not catching ball. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with more videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. He's not catching ball with you? Yeah. Do you need somebody to play ball? Baba. Video was posted on TikTok and the location of the video is not clear. In the video, we can see door of the refrigerator behind this man opens by itself. And I've looked this video thoroughly after zooming in as well. I'm not able to find any sort of editing or anything attached to that door. What are your thoughts? Let's watch the video in slow motion and upon zooming in. This incident caught on CCTV in India where the man is doing fine but his motorbike isn't. Let's get a closer look of the same incident from another angle also. Guys, this is one hell of a lucky guy. You can already see in the video what just happened. Now I'll speak less and you guys watch more. A big shout out to Sonia Cooper, Sarah Goss, XX Nighthawks and Crazy King 68 for joining the channel membership. Thank you very much. You can also join the channel membership and get a shout out like this. It's less than $1. Click on join button. Check it out. A French speaking family is on an outing enjoying a cloudless day when they notice something in the sky and start recording. A bizarre object rotates slowly seeming to shine bright red and green lights as it turns. We push in and stabilize the image to get a better look. As the image comes into focus, you don't have to speak French to grasp the family's astonishment. And check this out. At moments, it looks like this thing is flaming, something we've never seen before. 
Is it a craft burning off fuel as it ascends into space? Whatever this thing is, it's not making any noise, and it's not clear how it stays aloft. The object is quite curious to me because it seems to have no visible means of propulsion, maybe even uh, exhibiting anti-gravity properties. It's sort of just suspended uh, in air and for a period of time. So this very well could be something not of this world. This video was posted on Reddit and it's coming from a bar where a ghostly figure can be seen walking. This figure is white in color and a little transparent. What are your thoughts? Let's watch the video. Location of the video is Queensland, Australia. Now what's happening is this guy was recording rain and he was recording it a very slow motion as we can see in the video. But behind all these raindrops and when this guy recording the raindrops in the slow motion there is a UFO in the sky that was recorded accidentally. Now guys just note that that this UFO was recorded in a slow motion video and still it looks like that it's moving very fast. What will happen if it was recorded in a normal video then there is no chance anyone can see it. This video is coming from India where this hand rickshaw moved by itself and got parked. Lots of people are saying it as a ghost rickshaw. Hundreds of small young fish poured down on this worker when he was helping to transfer them into a breeding pond. His colleagues didn't hold the bag of fry properly during the incident, so the baby fish fell on him at all once. Carmela Purba's nickname is the Princess of Wall of Death. Defying gravity and stereotypes, she slings her motorbike full speed around the wooden walls of barrel shaped arena. One of a handful of women who performed this stunt. Purba stages one of the main acts at the Travelling Carnival in Bogor, Indonesia. Before joining the carnival, she made a meager living as a street busker. Now she enjoys being a daredevil and earning a high wage from tips.
This grandfather from Australia had to go one on one with the kangaroo who attacked him in his front yard. Went ass up, <laughs> and then he jumped on, on me back, and uh, was just fortunate enough that there was a stick there where I landed. He told Rebecca Powell from 10 News First he not only had to keep himself safe, but also his dogs. Took him to the ground, and uh, was fortunate that I did because he would have, you know, opened me up like a, an envelope. So yeah, I wrestled him on the ground for five minutes. The 59-year-old battled the almost six foot tall animal for several minutes, but luckily escaped without serious injury. He gouged top of my head and he, he bit me on the finger and cut me down the arm and ripped me jacket off. This wildlife expert says the attack could have been worse. He was extremely lucky because they are very powerful. Um, and those hind legs, if it had, it had reached forwards and, and kicked a couple more times, it might have got him somewhere where it could do some real damage. He adds that if someone is ever in this situation, the best thing to do is be smart and passive. If you've got a kangaroo that's looking a bit aggressive towards you, crouch down, back away. Don't wave your arms at it. Don't stand up tall and be macho because you're likely to come unstuck. For instance. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a woodpecker, and it's tangled in her hair. She even runs to her brother for help. Colton! Imagine stepping out and seeing this crazy sight. What is going on? Why is that thing on your head? It flew into the window. What the hell am I supposed to do? Brittany Bronson tells Inside Edition it happened after the woodpecker flew into her kitchen window in North Carolina. I walked up to it and I like leaned down to like make sure he was okay and he was kind of like bobbing back and forth looking at me and then he jumped like jump flew onto my head and I just was stunned and I was just like oh my gosh. Yes, no. When you think of a woodpecker you think Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> How did you keep the woodpecker from pecking your head? My brother kind of grabbed, like scruffed it like a cat, kind of grabbed the back of his neck to keep it from pecking him and me. The bird was going nuts. I'm looking at the bird and of course it's got this huge sharp beak um, and its nails were kind of like hooked into her hair really hard. So my biggest thing was like, I don't want to make the bird freak out. After a few minutes, little Woody was set free, and so was Brittany. Was it something about your hair that attracted this bird? It's very possible. I mean, I had it in a Mackie bun, so it probably, for all intents and purposes, looked like a bird nest. Which is something Brittany's mom used to tell her when she was a kid. You need to brush that bird's neck. <laughs> A scooter rider knelt down in front of the driver of Lamborghini in order to apologize after crashing into it. As a result, the Lamborghini owner forgave the man and didn't ask for compensation. However, the man later told his friend that he was just acting like he was sorry because he didn't want to pay for the repairs. Hundreds of recently unearthed ancient artifacts dating back 2500 years were put on display by Egypt's antiquities authorities.
If you like my work and you want to support it, please share my videos with your friends and family. See you next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.